This video is sponsored by Ajar Productions. Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with Creative Pro, and in this video, I'm going to make a cutout overlay that I can use in InDesign or that I can export out to use in other situations. Let me show you what I mean by that. So this page here, it looks like I have four separate photos, but it's actually one image. And I can show you that by turning off that image here. And I basically have this mask on top where I just created cutouts so I could see portions of the image down below. Now you can definitely do this with compound paths, but what I wanted to be able to do was to be able to show different parts of the images and then change my mind. Maybe I want to show a little different portion of that image. Maybe I want to change that shape altogether after the fact. This is where a cutout overlay comes in super handy. So let me show you how I did that. I jumped to this page here, we have the same image, and I want to create my cutout shapes first. So usually what I do is I, I'm going to have white shapes here, but I want to set them at about 50% opacity. You don't have to, this is just so that I can see. I like to do it this way. So I can see what I'm doing, draw out these shapes, set everything up the way I want it. Now I'm going to select all of these shapes here and I'm going to set the opacity to zero. This step we do need to do. So I've got those set at zero and I also need to create the mask on top of it. And because I know this is going to sit on a white background, I want my mask to be white. So I'm just going to draw a shape that's slightly larger than my page size. And then I'm going to come here to the layers panel and I just want to move it down just that rectangle shape I just created below my other rectangles. And then I'm going to hide that image right now, just so that when I do a select all, it doesn't accidentally grab that image. So I've got the shape that's white. I've got these three shapes here that are set to 0% opacity. Now I'm going to group them, Command or Control G. I'll group them. I'm going to go up to the effects panel under transparency, and I'm going to choose knockout group. Right now, I'm seeing these tan circles, and that's because my paper color is set to that color. What I need to do is come back here to my layers panel and turn the image back on. So now I can see that image back behind. So I've made it 0% opacity, and then I've told it to sort of punch through that entire group. So I want everything on top to punch through and only show what's back behind. And in this case, it's that image. Now you might want the image to actually be part of the mask itself. So in this case, I have the same sort of setup, except instead of a big white triangle, I placed an image here, this sort of swirly pattern image, and then I did two cutouts here with rounded corners. And you could use this sort of setup in InDesign to you know, just mask certain images. Maybe you have a different layout for each master page throughout. And you just want to be able to plop it on top of whatever images are, are set up on that page. But what I like to do is I like to take this and use this in something like Keynote or PowerPoint as an overlay. And I even use it in video editing as well. It's super handy when you want to make rounded corners on video. So in this case, I set up my InDesign file at 1920 by 1080, which is the size of a widescreen presentation or a video. And now what I need to do is I need to export it out and I need to make sure I keep that transparency so we can see whatever's back behind. So in this case, I'm gonna export it out to the desktop as a PNG. And we need to make sure that transparent background is on. So I'm gonna go ahead with page three, export that out. And then I'm going to open up this keynote file that I have where I have a video sitting here. And if I click play and click on that video, I can see that that's a video. And I just want to place this image in there right on top. And I can see that that's an image back there. And now when I play it, I've got that video playing back behind that mask. I can do the same thing in my video editing software. I've got that same PNG laid on top. And if I move this around, I can see that I've got two videos set back there. I've got David twice, twice the David, twice the fun. So I'm gonna come over here and just hit play. And we can see the videos playing back behind 
that mask. So that's how you create a quick cutout mask and one that is easily editable. As things change, if you need to add more to it, you can go ahead and add more to the group as well. And you can keep exporting out that same overlay mask. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out creativepro.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine. Thanks for learning with us.